As expected, Chris Christie scored a landslide victory and looked ahead to November. It is time to tell each other the truth and fight for a better tomorrow for our children. That's what I'm going to do if you give me the chance for the next four years. Democrat Barbara Bruno also won her primary decisively. And when we work together, we will win in November and we will bring change to New Jersey. And state and local races turned up no surprises in this primary election. About we have 160 potential legislative primaries and 140 of them didn't even have any challengers in them. So that there's, we were down to 20, right? And every 20 of those cases, the party choice won by a huge margin. The tallies tell the story. Incumbents holding seats in the state legislature easily beat their challengers. Even in districts where pundits expected competitive races like the 34th, incumbent Senator Nia Gill easily defeated opponent Mark Alexander. It was the same story in the 20th district where Senator Ray Lesniak had a decisive win. So did Republican incumbent Senator Joe Carrillos, who represents the 13th district. Murray believes two factors played a role in helping incumbents win, low voter turnout and party support. But it is possible to win off the line. Senator Nia Gill did it herself back in 2003, and another incumbent followed suit last night, Atlantic City Mayor Lorenzo Langford. With the primaries decided, the focus now turns to the November election. Murray believes many incumbents will again prevail, which would help Democrats keep the majority in the state house. But one possible game changer could be the special election Governor Christie has called to fill the seat of the late U.S. Senator Frank Lautenberg. Murray believes this is a calculated move for Christie as he considers a presidential run in 2016. Hold the election a few weeks before your election. Bring a lot of Democrats out who are really excited because they're going to be able to vote for a Democrat senator who will probably win, and then they'll stay home because they've done their job for the fall. And you'll get your Republican vote out and work to get your Republican vote out. Uh, the added benefit of that for folks down the line is that those Democrats are not going to come out in the legislative races either. And so a couple of these races may be more competitive than we thought they were going to be, uh, particularly folks like Steve Sweeney, um, uh, Jeff Van Drew down in South Jersey, Linda Greenstein, Bob Gordon, uh, Jim Whalen. And with Democrats focused on the October special election, that could leave Democratic gubernatorial nominee Senator Barbara Bruno virtually alone to fight an uphill battle to try to unseat Governor Christie. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in Montclair.